Hey, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. Welcome back to another action figure review, and we're continuing our look this week at the alternation action figures from Pandemony Toys. This is phase one, the first wave of these figures. As I mentioned, we met the owner, Ryan Magnon, back at Toy Fair 2020. We were introduced to the line. He was kind enough to actually send us the first wave to spotlight here on our channel. So we're gonna be checking out all six figures from that initial launch wave. And today we've got one of the bigger characters in the series. Not the biggest, but one of the bigger ones to come out so far. Today we are looking at Quillroy. So Quillroy is one part porcupine, one part rhino, and one part bat. Which is actually a little bit of a surprise, but when you look at his face you'll see where that's coming from. But we're going to take a closer look at that once we do have him out of the package. So let's talk about this box first. And I do want to mention, you guys can see here, that it's a little ripped up here and it's already been opened. That's because, again, these were sent to us by the company. Uh, for review purposes. So I'm pretty sure what they sent to us was just some items that they'd probably used to previously show off the toys at other events and toy fairs. So, you know, these aren't all new sealed in package, but I'm totally fine with that because they are a smaller company, smaller business. And I'm just really appreciative that they even thought of sending these to us in the first place so that you guys could get a better look at them. So the package is a hexagon shape, which is like all of their toys. And again, this one's much bigger. You can see here at the top, got a nice sunroof. This guy here is much bigger than some of the other toys. And case in point here, we've got the box from El Rey, who is one of these smaller characters, more average size characters actually. So you can see what I mean, like this box is a lot bigger than El Rey's. And that's one of the interesting things about these toys is that the boxes are all different sizes and they're all each unique to the character. So on one side here, we've got a really nice illustration of Quillroy, and along with telling us a little bit about what he does, which is a quill launching attack, a barbell flail, and a collectible mini comic. The opposite side of it includes a mention about the free graphic novel and the webisodes you can get on alternation.toys. And we also see who else is joining him in the first wave of these figures, as well as the bad guys from wave two. And the back of the box includes a very large word puzzle. That's fun, nice little fun thing to include. That's a fun thing to include in there for any of the kid collectors out there. And also adults who want to have some fun too. We've got a really good bio about the character. And we also get to learn more about what his animal abilities are and just what those animals are to be exact. And we also have a rundown of some of the accessories he has, and he's got a lot of them. He might be one of the most accessory heavy characters in this lineup. That's the one thing I can say about these toys is they all tend to have a lot of accessories in there. So let's go ahead and open him up since he's already kind of halfway there for us. And one of the things I've been really appreciating from Pandemony Toys so far is their attention to collectors. Because you can see here, this figure has got its own special packaging, so you can actually reseal him once you're done. Very collector friendly and also great for kids too. It makes it easier for them just to be able to deal with these toys and put all the accessories back where they were when they're done playing with them or displaying them. Whatever you want to do with them at work. All right, so our Quillroy is now out of the packaging completely. I want to show you what else he comes with, and that's a mini comic. So he is number six of the bunch. He's, I guess, the last mini comic that's available right now because seven and eight will be with the villains. But we've got this really nice mini comic here which looks like it's about 16 pages long, I want to say. I'm not quite sure, but it's pretty decent sized and it's got some good illustrations. Uh, I love mini comics and it's great to see toys coming back with this again. So yeah, if you want to see more of that, you can check it out on um, this toy or you can also go to alternation.toys to read the graphic novel they've already put up online for you guys. And he also comes with an instruction manual because you're going to need that because he's got a lot of accessories and a lot of things that he does here. So we'll probably be referencing this as we go along in this video today. So let's talk about Quillroy. He is part bat, part porcupine, part rhino, but 100% very, very cool looking figure. Very unique figure. So the face, you can see now a little bit better glimpse of it. What we're talking about with the whole bat look, he's got bat ears, he's got the bat face, he's got rhino feet, he's got rhino skin, but then he's got porcupine quills on his back. He's all over the place, but it's a really cool design. One of the things I also like about these toys a lot is how it reminds me a little bit of like Overwatch characters. I'm a big fan of that video game and especially of their toys. And uh, I like the look of this guy. I like how it reminds me of these modern style characters. I like the paint job on this guy too. It's very clean. This is another very, very clean figure here. You can see it's got some toning on the face, uh, and the eyes and the ears, as well as on the arms, which kind of adds that rough texture of him. The quills are very nicely painted as well. This is a really good clean looking paint job. A little bit of schmutz on his butt. But again, uh, to be fair, this figure has also traveled a little bit because it was previously opened for display. So he's been around. So he might be looser or might have some joints or, or might have some paint mess ups here and there from possibly falling down on a display shelf. So I can't really detract too many points, but I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing right now. I think if you got him fresh, you'll be even happier. Quillroy has 17 points of articulation, two more than El Rey had. We've got a head that does move, although this one is actually 
very stiff. Ah, that one hurt, but stiff out the box. Never a bad thing either. We've got ball jointed shoulders. We've got elbows that can bend, wrists that turn. Let's see if the waist moves. Waist does not move. We've got ourselves good leg articulation, bendable knees, yep, and bendable ankles. I really like the headphones attached to his leg here. So like the whole character of Quillroy is that he's like into working out and all that kind of stuff. So it's good that he's got his headphones here. So when he starts hitting the gym, he's got his tunes to listen to. So sculpting is really nice. I really dig the face, the textures on the arms, the legs. There's good sculpting in this toy. You know, again, just like the El Rey figure, just loving the sculpting on this. In fact, I'm gonna bring in El Rey so you guys can get a look at these two together. And they, they look really good, you know, and you can see what I mean now. There actually is a difference between El Rey's skin and Quill Roy's. Quill Roy's is tougher and uh, El Rey's actually does, it, it does have a unique glossy finish to it. So I wasn't sure if that was going to be just for him or the entire line, but now we've got some proof that El Rey does have glossy skin because he is the aquatic creature. So let's talk about accessories and action features. And Quill Roy has a ton of accessories here, but I think I want to show the action feature first because I want to see how how much this is gonna be awesome. So he has exploding quills. He's got quill fire action as they call it. So it looks like we press down on his shoulder here and it's gonna make these three of these quills, these big ones, launch. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the button. Let's see what happens. Hope I don't lose anything. All right, let's give it a try. Launching number one. That's decent. Number two. Oh, and number three, so I had to go with it. So it's uh, basically you press it down each time it launches it. But if you press them all down really hard at once, it looks like they all just fire off together. Uh, you know, let's try that out. All right, launching all three down together. Let's see if this works. Oh, pretty good. That little Gus guy, he got jammed up, but I think it's because the porcupine quills have to be like positioned in a little bit of a better way. So that's something for you guys to figure out at home is how to actually position those quills a bit better. But they launch, they launch pretty decently. Maybe about two feet, it looks like at most. Uh, you might be able to get a little bit more out of them if you push down harder, but they launch, that's what matters. And that's again, I want to talk about with these toys being kind of throwbacks to old action figures like Kenner toys and that kind of thing. These missile firing actions, you don't get them as much in action figures today. I love they're doing it here with these characters. It really works. It's a real great piece of nostalgia. But let's talk about some of the other things he has. That includes here his barbell flail. Look at the size of this weapon here. So yeah, that should be able to go into his hands fairly easily. You can hold it like that, but I think it's probably also meant to be held with two hands. So it does have its own actual chain here that you can use to whip it around. That's a good piece of toy right there. I love this thing here. See, I'm pretty sure you can probably get it in both hands also. Let's try and see if we can. I mean, I, I imagine it's meant to be a one-handed weapon. Um, you know, you might not be able to get it into both hands actually because his arms don't really cross over, but at the very least you can get it into either hand and that's good. You can see right here now it's in his other hand and uh, it does look really nice there. Yeah, this barbell flail, very good accessory, but that's not all he comes with. That's not all he does. He also has his compound bow and his arrows. So we'll have him hold it like this in one hand. So there's his compound bow. You can see it in his hand. He comes with four different arrows to use here. So he's got a grapple arrow. He's got a knockout gas arrow. He's got the intimidator arrow, and then the explosive arrow. And each one of these can be equipped onto his bow. There's little notches in each of these parts of it. And you do this, and boom, you've got an arrow in the bow. So this bow and arrow does not fire though, but uh, to be fair, very few toys that have bow and arrows do. I mean, you can easily name a few like from Robin Hood or it's like one or two other toy lines I can remember that have it. Typically, you don't really get them launching, especially these days, but uh, at least the arrows do fit in there and that looks nice. And he also has an energy drink because why the heck not? I mean, if you're gonna hit the gym, you gotta have an energy drink. This is horse bull energy drink. Well, that's a thing. I'm gonna put that in his hand, I think also. There you go. Good detail on that too. It's actually even got a little lid on it. I don't know if you guys can easily see that, but it's got a lid on there too. That's a nice accessory. So that's our look at Quillroy from Pandemonies Alternation Action Figures Phase 1. And this Quillroy is a really good addition to the lineup as well. Tons of great accessories. I love the barbell flail. I love this compound bone arrow, and especially the fact that it comes with four different arrows. I especially love the rocket firing quills. I didn't know he did that actually, to be honest, uh, when I first saw this. I didn't really look too much at these toys. And I don't really remember the demo that much because it's been a few months that we saw at Toy Fair. But this figure has got a lot to it, man. I'm really impressed by how much went into this toy. You're getting a ton of accessories. You're getting a mini comic. You're getting a launchable quill action feature. There is so much good to talk about with these figures. And I gotta remind you guys again, these were sent to us by Pandemony Toys, but we're not being paid to do reviews. We don't get paid for reviews. And especially not for positive reviews. We will rip things apart if they are terrible. 
but I'm really into these alternation figures so far. Great designs, great accessories, great action features, nostalgic throwbacks with modern upgrades. Alternation toys is one that action figure collectors need to not overlook. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying these reviews so far too, and I hope that you'll stick around because we still have a few more characters to go through as part of phase one. So if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and do check out alternation.toys if you wanna learn more about these characters, check out the graphic novel and some webisodes, as well as to learn how to order these toys for yourself. So until next time, I'm Matthew from Nerd News Today. We'll see you here tomorrow with another alternation figure review.